I've got some leftover queso dip from last week, and it's really not enough for a normal sized portion. But I was thinking it might be good on some chicken, saying like a quesadilla or something like that. Well, there's a restaurant in town that has a quesadilla with chicken and chorizo and cheese inside. So I was thinking with some Southwestern sauce added to that, it'd probably be pretty good. So I also happen to have this leftover rotisserie chicken. And I've got some cheese, so I decided to go to the store and buy some chorizo. This is some Mexican chorizo, it's pork. And I got some wraps here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a chicken chorizo quesadilla with southwestern queso sauce on the inside. So that's what I'm gonna try to make today. The first thing I'm gonna do is get the burner going. I'll turn it on low, put a pan on there to get hot. Now this is real life here. This is not a cooking show, so this is what the average Joe's gonna be cooking on. It's all jacked up. While that's heating up, I'm gonna cut the chorizo. All right, so I'm not sure how much to cook. I guess maybe, that'd probably be plenty. And I've never cooked chorizo before, but apparently you're supposed to take it out of the casing. I could probably just squeeze it out into the pan and that'd probably work just as well. I think that's what I'll do. Smells really good. Just gonna mash it out. All right, so I'll let it cook for a little while and see how it turns out. And from what I've read, uh, it's better to cook chorizo, Mexican chorizo on low heat, no oil in the pan because you can see how much fat is in the in the meat anyway. So uh, low heat, be patient with it. If you cook it on high, it could burn pretty easily from what I read. So I'm going the safe route. I've got a gas stove top. I've got it set almost to two and a half. So that's what I'm doing. While the chorizo is still cooking, I'm tearing out some, uh, some white chicken meat here. I'll probably just heat this up in the skillet real quickly whenever the chorizo gets done. That'll work. I have since turned the heat up to three and it's starting to brown. So it's looking like it's just about done to me. I've cooked it on low heat the entire time. It's starting to stick to the pan on the bottom and I don't want to burn it. So I'm guessing that's done. It's been cooking long enough. So I'm going to put it onto a plate. Set it aside. Then I'll throw the chicken in there and get the chicken warmed up. Be all right that it's mixing in with that chorizo oil. And while the chicken's heating up, we move to this other burner here, and I'm gonna get another pan. Again, real life, it's all jacked up on the inside. We used uh, metal in a Teflon pan, and you're not supposed to. So I'm gonna turn the heat on to number three, and I'm gonna use a little bit of canola oil just to oil the bottom of the pan. I'm just going to use my hands here. You know what? I meant to put some cheese first so it wouldn't, uh, so it'll help keep the whole thing together. So, I think that's what I'll do. I'm put some cheese on half of it, put the chicken on top of it. Put the rest of the chicken. Then we'll put the chorizo. Then, I've heated up the queso dip. I'll go ahead and pour that on top too. I like a lot of sauce. And I'll put a little cheese on top. Just to keep the, hold the whole thing together once it gets heated up. Fold this over halfway. Pat it down. And then let's put it in the pan. I've got the burner set to four. See how that works out. I guess I just want to keep it in there until the cheese starts melting on the bottom. So it's got to get a good, uh, a good crisp on the outside. I'm going to flip it over. That looks pretty good. I'm going to keep it on the other side for a little bit more. I am no professional. 
as you can tell. I just like good food. Check it again. That looks pretty good. Throw it on the plate. Go ahead and cut it in half. See what it looks like. Mmm. That looks that looks great. I can't wait to eat that. I don't really have anything else to go on the plate, so it was just kind of by itself. Try this out. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. It'd probably be really good if you got some chicken and smoked it, have a smoke flavor going on with it. But I really like that a lot. That was excellent. I'm gonna have to keep making this. Burst in with flavor. I hope you liked the video. Go ahead and give it a try. Uh, it's the first time I ever made it, but it came out pretty good, so take it easy. Oh, and if you want to know how to make the queso dip, I have a video of how to make it. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Or I'll try to put a link here on the screen. If you can't see it, look in the description. But it's a southwestern style queso dip and uh, pretty easy to make. So go ahead and make that first. When you have leftovers, you can make this.